<clears throat> All right, what's up? We're going to do a workout today. I kind of posted one of these a couple months ago. I'm doing uh, 15 rounds, minute and a half rounds, 30 second rest, one basic combo per round. So it's for beginners. I still consider myself a beginner. I've only been doing this a couple, well, maybe two years at this point. I don't know. I've only had one fight, whatever. I'm still basically a beginner. And I found, at least for me, I never really throw combos that are like six, seven punches. Just doesn't seem to go that way. I got two, three, four punch combos, and then I regroup, and I figure out something else. So these are all going to be four punches at the most. I am not incorporating any footwork or head movement per se, but add it if you can, add it if you're, you know, you want to. Um, but basically, I'm just focusing on the punches. So round one. we're at round one. The first one is just a double jab. One down, jab cross is next. Only 30 seconds. Go at your own pace. Go faster than me if you can. Go slower if you need to. All right, this round is all jab cross, minute and a half. Next up is a cross lead hook. Just two punches. And yeah, I'm not doing too much head movement, too much footwork. Really just focusing on the punch technique and the punch volume. And getting my heart rate up, 
Getting the blood flowing, getting the sweat flowing. Down three. <sighs> All right, cross, left hook. I love this combo. Love this combo. Throw some body shots in there too. Got the heart rate up now. Three rounds in. Next one's one, two, three. Jab, cross, lead hook. Shoulder. So bad, it already hurts. I recently started to lift weights again. So Kind of taking a toe on my shoulder, but honestly, even for the year that I didn't lift weights at all, my left shoulder would always start to hurt, man. I like never got the endurance I needed there. Strange. All right, jab, cross, jab, one, two, one. I'm gonna step out on the third one. It feels more natural to like kind of take a step back.
Wow. Jab, lead hook, overhand right. The overhand right, it's gonna be a close range overhand right. Man, boxing dude, it's a workout like nothing else. Round six. All right, jab, lead hook, overhand right. So we got boom. Yeah, I cheated the last couple of seconds. I did. Sometimes when I do that, I bring my left hand all the way back to my chin. Sometimes I don't. I don't know. Comment below if it's really bad if I don't. I mean, it's one punch coming right after the other, leaving my chin open for a little bit, but. All right, jab, overhand right, shovel hook or lead hook to the body, whatever you want to call it. So it would be a 183, 187. My breath I'm dripping sweat I've been putting like a decent amount of power on most of these shots not all of them but a lot of them that might fade away down the stretch we'll see all right this is just doubling up lead hook body lead hook head all around lead hook body lead hook head Start with a little slit to load it up. Here's another one, Jim, Jim, Joe, whoever might be watching. Sometimes I bring it all the way back. 
Sometimes I kind of don't. Let me know if that's a problem. I have asked my coaches at my gym. They don't seem overly concerned if I don't bring my left hand back in a combo like that. But I don't know. It's worth asking different people's opinions. All right, what's the next round? One, two, one, four. Jab, cross, jab, right hook. Fatigue is setting in, folks. That's good, though. I know I'm not leaving nothing in the tank if I'm already hurting with like five rounds to go. 100 pound bag, 42 years old. Round 10. All right, 252 for my five. I might not even hit the bag. I might. I don't really like uppercutting these normal bags. It feels weird to me. But anyway, cross, lead uppercut, cross. It's like, 
if I back off, it's not because of my lungs, which is kind of funny how I treated myself for, for some of my years on earth. It's my left shoulder, my left shoulder. My overhead press max is like, I think 230. I can overhead press, I got strong shoulders. It does not translate to like ring endurance. It's crazy. All right. Now we're kind of doing the opposite. One, six, one. Jab, rear uppercut, jab. I'll do that too. If I notice I'm not liking something, I'll take a second and throw a couple of those punches. It's okay. Those uppercuts are kind of weird. When you don't have something to make good contact with, that kind of throws you off a little. Especially when you're making contact on the other punches. But whatever. One, two, one, eight. Jab, cross, jab, overhand, right. If you're doing this with me, hell yeah, keep going. Finish line is getting here. One, two, one, eight. 12, 13, 14, 15. Four more rounds. Getting sloppy, getting sloppy, getting fatigued. Sure, this happens to everyone, but the more tired I get, the, the more my technique will start to slide. Whether it's my hands coming down, my hands not coming back to my chin. I start, I start, go, I start going from this to like down here. That's my shoulder, but as one is, push through. Oh God, this next one's a triple jab and my shoulder's dead, this is awful. All right, let's try to triple jab for a minute and a half. Let's go. Oh.
Oh my god. I made a mistake. Oh my god, I'm dying, y'all. Two rounds to go, three total minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Two body, three to the head. Two body, three to the head. Aim right for that solar plexus on that two. Probably the worst shots I ever took boxing were either like liver or solar plex to this day. Face shots can hurt, but those body shots, man. One more round, people, one more round. If you are doing this with me, awesome. Good for you. This is tough workout for me. I'm soaked in sweat. All right, this next one is just a four, three, right hook, lead hook. I'll do it, I'll do it from different ranges. I'll do some close. Some a little further out. Nothing too far out, of course, because they're hooks. All right, let's go. Finish strong, baby. All right, y'all, by the way, that last combo, hopefully I won't end up in a street fight again, but if I do, that's probably gonna be my go-to. People like to get in your face, get all nice and close. That's perfect. Boom, boom, bye. All right, y'all, I gotta go cut the grass. Hope you're having a good one. Later. <laughs>